Hey guys, happy Sunday. How is everybody? Like my beautiful hairdo? I went out to the car. It's so flipping windy out there. Went out to the car to get my selfie stick <laughs> so I can make this video. Oi, the allergies are so bad here. Like, I feel like I'm all puffed up with my eyes. And then, like, when I got home last night from work, oh yeah, it was a hot mess. But then I sleep all night and I feel better. Have you guys ever had chorizo and eggs for breakfast? It's like, well, if you guys ask me what it is, it's kind of disgusting, I think. It's like, I don't know, kind of like eating a hot dog, but it's like flavored. I don't know how to explain it. So if you're Portuguese or Spaniard or Hispanic and you've ever had blood sausage, it's not that. <laughs> but it's, it kind of liquefies into a, I don't know how to explain it. It's sausage, but it cooks down really water, not watery, loose, I guess. And then you scramble eggs in it, with it. And then um, it's flavored, kind of spicy, but it's not super spicy, because I can't handle spicy. But I love it. I don't know, let me show you. So that's gonna get all liquidy. And then I'll scramble some eggs in there. And then, um, then we have flour tortillas. The heck? Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> I think my husband or somebody ripped the package. Now they're all hard. Good thing we have a little bit in this one because I gotta throw this one away. So anyways, you guys, you know what? I only have six eggs to my name left. I never get that low on eggs, but I haven't been to the grocery store for a while. So I definitely got to go today because I promised the lady of Huntington I would make some little crank cookies. They call them fruit drop cookies. Okay, so, oh shoot, I should have showed you first my chorizo is kind of liquefied so now I'm going to mix my eggs in there with it um, anyways the lady of Huntington that's her channel that's the name of her channel lady of Huntington she made um, what we call thumbprint cookies she calls them fruit drop cookies I think but they're basically the same thing and I told her I would make some today to show her. I have, it's almost the same recipe. So we like to compare recipes like that because <clears throat> she lives in Australia and I live in the United States. I went to the fair the other day and she asked me what a corn dog was. Because <clears throat> I just normally thought everybody knows what a corn dog is. But, you know, if you're not from here, how would you know? But she called it a dogwood on a dog, on a stick, I think. And, um, it kind of basically sounds the same, except for ours is a hot dog dipped in cornmeal and deep fried. And she said theirs is a hot dog dipped in, um, flour. So I'm thinking more like a pancake batter, I don't know. And um, so it kind of sounds the same, but almost to me, it sounds like a pigs in a blanket. What we call it. I don't know. I'm going to put this away really quick. I'll be right back. <clears throat> so I definitely got to go to the grocery store today because I've got to get eggs 
and a few other things. And um, then I'll come home and make the thumbprint cookies. So, um, so anyways, okay, my chorizo cooked down. And then I'm scrambling the eggs. I like my eggs dry. I don't like them like what they consider to be a wet scrambled egg. I like more dry. And then you take a couple tortillas, flour tortillas. And some people heat them up on the stove. I just heat them in the microwave. And then you just wrap the trees on eggs in the um, flour tortillas and eat them. And somebody, some people put like um, chunks of potato cooked, you know, cubes of potato cooked in their chorizo. I've never tried it like that, but it actually sounds really good. So, all right, here it is. I guess you have to have an acquired taste for it because some people think it's disgusting. That's not one of them. <laughs> so, all right, just a quick clip to say good morning. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's doing fabulous. Cheers to no makeup and no hairdo. I want to go to the 99 cent store today or the Dollar Tree. That's a 60 mile round trip, so not sure I'm going to do it or not. We'll see how I feel. But anyways, all right, you guys. Have a good day. <clears throat> and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.